So I've been around cheese making all my life really and then I left school. So I started helping out, you know, mainly outside really, more outside work than anything and a little bit of cheese. I don't know, somehow I got sucked into the dairy because they were really busy in there. And I started doing more and more work in the dairy. And um, I don't know, somehow I had some sort of natural, not, I don't know, I'll call it a natural flair or some instinct or some ability to, I really got the idea of cheese making, I really grasped it somehow. Um, so I just, that was it, I was in the dairy, that was my thing then. My mum started backing off a little bit and um, here we are today. <laughs> Um, it's all we're on her, we don't buy any milk in. It's all, it's, it's, raw, it's raw milk, it's all unpasteurised. And then again, you, you know, once you come into the dairy, we're still using, you know, traditional starters, we're still using the same starter culture as what uh, my mum's mum was using, my grandma. So we've probably been using that starter culture for, I don't know, maybe 60 years now. We're going to use a really small amount of this. Uh, I'm going to put 400 mils in today. So we 2,000 litres, it really is a tiny amount of starter culture. And again, um, the rennet, we're still using standard 175 animal rennet. And again, you know, my grandma, she used that, I think, probably all her cheese making life. It's split out. I'm looking for the, you know, the curd to split so it's set. I'm looking for it to leave the sides like that. Just suck telltale of that. It's ready to cook, really. So we need to cook that. So what I'm looking for with this knife now is to sort of cut this into little small cubes, um, which you'll see it's starting to happen. Fantastic colour that. You know that that's that's a really good sign is that um, having way that sort of colour and as clear as that. If it was cloudy or milky or white, it means you're taking all the goodness out of the um, out of the curd. It's, it's, you know, squashing all the goodness out of the curd down the blood hole.
This is the two different days curds mixed together now. So you've got this one, which is day one, and then we blend it with this one, day two. Um, so they're both different flavours, they're both different textures. This is older, it's gone very, very creamy. Uh, it's gone very nutty, it's got a lovely nutty flavour as that. That's still very young and milky and fresh. So you blend the two together through the peg mill to create this. Um, this is, you know, blended curd. You add the salt, salts were flavouring and salts are a preservative. Once you've got, I mean, you can, um, even now, you know, you can feel that, um, it's a strange combination. It's, it's like really loose and fluffy, but to touch it, it's so silky and buttery. It's, um, that's, that's really nice, is that? What we do with this now, is we're going to get put into the moulds, into the cheese moulds, and then they'll go to the, the cheese presses, and then get pressed overnight. cheese that we made yesterday. So this is yesterday's cheese, or yesterday's curds that we milled, and uh, they've pressed overnight. They've gone solid, got, you know, they've got the shape, they've gone solid, and we put the, uh, the cloths on the outside. And uh, repress them again for sort of another um, two or three hours really. So what I'm looking for, or I think the ideal age, is, is something sort of three and a half to four months old. Um, with that, you'll get um, those, you know, those, those particularly you'll, you'll get curd breakdown, so it'll be really, really creamy. Um, so flavour on that, like I say, is only a late February cheese. Even now you can tell that. It's got those fantastic milky flavours. There's a tiny, tiny bit of starch on the back of it. Very, very little. But we've just got our own natural milky flavours. Loads of flavours coming out in that. And that's pretty much what we're trying to achieve and what we're trying to get really. It's there on that iron. That is it.